Peter Grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. And we've got Harlan today. Harlan, what's up? Where are you from, Harlan? I'm from Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Guys, that's a city close by to me. We're just north of LA. Um, so what brought you in today? Uh, I've been watching your videos for a little while. Finally got a chance to make it out here. It's a great pleasure. He views and he hits the like button yeah, and he subscribes. You yeah. guys need to do that right now. Okay, guys, I promised you Dustin Poirier and Charles Oliveira, you didn't see the fight. I have not seen the fight. But, shame on you. But, I already talked to him about it. He's gonna jump on my back and choke me. So check it out. So, when, when he was behind like this, he has the waist and he jumped up. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details where Charles Oliveira had a single hook for a while, he did, and then it turned into two hooks, and then a standing rear naked choke happens. He, I'm not gonna go into great detail. Again, um, uh, Harlan doesn't, didn't see the fight, but the hooks are in solid. The, the, the hand fight happens. You know, Portia is trying to pull the hands down, but as the fight into the hands, he ends up getting it, and he gets a full rear naked choke. Go ahead. And what am I gonna do here? Look at this. I mean, how do I pull this down in this position? I gotta tap and I lose. So that's kind of what happened. And I wanna give you guys some solutions. You don't want to be in the standing rear naked choke position and not do anything. So I'm gonna give you several solutions. I'm gonna give you my opinion of what I like best, but I'm gonna give you several solutions. And there's probably more than what I know. I don't know everything, but I'm gonna give you a few. So one of them that I'm sure a lot of you guys thought of is the backsplash. Now you see, I've got a crash, crash, uh, crash pad here. The guy's got hooks. Guys, I don't want to do this out on the floor. It's obviously very dangerous to do this and it may or may not work. But before the renegade chokes in, hopefully you do it before. Don't wait until it's in. Let's say I, I'm I, right here, you know, like you're fighting hands, but I'm like this. Um, really the technique, the, the best technique is to move forward, to travel forward and then go. You don't want to just go because if I just go, I don't generate a lot of force. So you got me good? Just hang on. I'm gonna walk over here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk forward, okay? I'm gonna kind of run forward and go boom. Now, how was that, Harlan? It sucked, <laughs> was it, did it? It would have sucked without the crash pad. <laughs> yeah, so now that you guys are here, he can still choke me, but at least now I can kind of fight to the side as the guy tries to choke me now. I can defend, look into it, get my back to the floor, and then we can defend and get get out of it. Um, of course, the idea is you can knock the wind out of your opponent. You can break a rib out on the street, self-defense, it's gonna be a hard landing. Um, you guys all probably saw Marcelo Garcia and um, Rico Rodriguez in 2005 ADCC. So that could be brutal. It could also lead to you getting choked out. Um, so keep that in mind. It's kind of a, a dicey situation. You gotta make that decision if you think it's good for you. Um, so that's an option, but the backsplash. Another one, I don't prefer this one that much, but it's better idea than what Poirier was just there. So, great, he jumps on my back and he's here. Remember this, guys, when I'm taking his weight, I want you to see, like, just give me, give me a hand, ready? And I want you to fight the hands, I'm gonna fight you back, and I want you to just see how long it works, go ahead. See that? Move around, John, get some grip, get some looks, John. <sighs> Okay, he got me. Okay, you see that? Now I want you to notice any difference. There's not gonna be much, but I want you to notice something. Are you ready? I'm gonna dip forward. Now go ahead. Okay, now I know it could be that I was a little fatigued, you could say. I mean, we just got done training. I ran four hills today. I got to roll the Harlan a little bit. But did you notice it get easier when I tipped? Absolutely. Okay, there, guys, when I, lean over, the more you do this, like you're like, I need to get my chin down. So you do this, it actually gives him a platform to lay on you. You're activating your legs much less, you feel that? So guys, we're actually better off 
if we're going to defend, to be upright. One, we don't get as tired. Imagine someone's on your back, like he goes piggyback. Is it easier for me to hold you up like this or to hold you like this? Already I feel the pressure of you. You feel that? Yes, sir. And so how can I hand fight like that? So check this idea out. All I do is I put him against the fence. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm resting him against the fence. This is like I'm on the mat. It's like when I'm on the floor. Now he fights the hands. Go. Feel how much stronger I am. See this? Much stronger. Yeah. And now keep going. Yeah. And now I bring the arm to the other side. Now look, he can fall down or he can choose to go on his feet. And then now look, boom, boom, boom. So then we can go and we can get back to the fight. So there's another good option. I don't prefer it, but it is a good option. Um, it's viable. It's much better than not uh, putting pressure against the fence. Again, use the fence as something to lean against. It's also possible to hide from the choke and start attacking the feet. I didn't show this to you earlier, but sometimes like I got my chin down. He's trying to choke me and I take hooks out. See how I did that? And I, I always, just like regular renegade re choke defense, I want to look this way and take this one out. Try to st uh, strangle me. <laughs> See how I turned into it? So I, I would love to go that way. If I turn the other way, it's like a gi choke. You don't even have to jump up. Just, you don't have to. Just See, if I go like this, eh, it's going to get my, my trick right here. Like, eh, it's going to choke me. If I go here, it's much harder for him to, to finish me. I'm not saying you can't be finished. I'm saying it's a little bit better. Okay, so there's a couple ideas. Um, last one that I like. Okay, and it's not punch him in the face. <laughs> uh, I like this one the most. The guy jumps on your back in the standing position. Guys, you're defending. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend forward, but I'm gonna go too much. Put in the hands down. Tripod. Now, you notice Harlan's hands on the mat. I don't have to grab it. I can just let it be there. I'm gonna use gravity. If he tries to pick that hand up to choke, he's falling. When he falls, he's coming off, I'll pull out and we're out of there. You've seen it happen in multiple UFC fights, usually because the guy's in this position and he's getting on the guy's back and he goes like this. It happens. Man, every UFC, there's probably a scenario like that. So if he's got, if the guy's in the standing piggyback ride, you should go there as soon as possible. Don't wait for the choke to get in. You know, um, actually, I know you didn't see it, but can you just throw one hook in? Like jump up and throw one hook? See, and you lock your hook. I would go right now. You see? Now, you can't choke. You have to like fall and go for something else. Like armbar. If you can go armbar, you lose, right? So, last tip I have for you to break this down. How do I defend the armbar? Because when you go to the tripod position, or quad pod, okay, four or three, whatever. When you go to this position and the person goes and seal, realizes they're gonna fall, they're gonna try to go for that arm bar that Harlan just did. So when they try to go for the arm bar, we have to do um, like this. I take my arms and I put my biceps uh, right where my ears are. So basically I don't have a head. My head is in the same direction as my arms. You'll see what I'm talking about. Because an arm bar is like this. You have your arm out and you have your head here. That means a leg can go over your head and a guy can hyperextend your elbow. So if my head is inside, there's nothing for his legs to apply the leverage, the fulcrum against to break your elbow. And again, you've got to train this to get good at it. It's not going to work your first time, but last time I'm going to show you. So I'm trying to defend the choke at first. Guy goes standing piggyback and I'm defending, right? So I go down here. Now he realizes, so he goes here, look at where my, my uh, ears and my biceps, my head is down. Now hold on, try to armbar. Now I wanna show you, if I lift my head up, this is the fulcrum. When he arches and he bends his, yeah, but if my head is inside, try to armbar. 
See that? And I'm not even defending. And then I'll take your head, basically take your legs over your head, and I'll pull out. And when I pull out, I try to pull everything out, everything out at once. I don't just pull one arm out. I pull the whole thing out like you're taking your t-shirt off, like if some guy grabbed you like a hockey fight, trying to pull your shirt over your head, you're like, get out of it. Like pull the whole thing out. So I think that's it. You got anything to say, Harlan? That was awesome, thank you. This is your, uh, this is your debut, your Teach Me Grappling debut. Well, this guy's in Los Angeles, not too far. Maybe we'll get him to come back sometime and he can tell you guys more about his life. <laughs> just, anyway, this guy's a great guy. Roll with him tonight, he's very skilled. You wanna give anybody a shout out, like your instructor or where you're from? It's up to you. Sure, uh, shout out to Guru Dan and uh, Professor Gary and uh, Sensei Yuri. All right, you guys got a great student here. He's awesome, you guys did a great job. All right, thank you so much. Click the links down below at Patreon, PayPal. Contribute to this channel or become a member and uh, support me. All right, thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Boom, that was thank perfect. You. Yeah, that was awesome.